Hey everybody and welcome to my October budget. As many of you know that have been watching my channel for a little while and also follow the plan with me videos, you would know that this budget is going to be way different than any of my other budgets because unfortunately on September 2nd, which this kind of ruined my budget for September, but we're not working on that. We're working on October this uh, this time here. I was laid off from my job after almost nine years. So that really sucks. And this is not the part-time job. This is like the bread and butter job that I get paid the money for. So anyway, so yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be fun. All right, so I really don't have, well, we're gonna get into it. Let's write October budget and then I'll keep, I'll keep yammering away and bugging you guys. Okay, so I've got my little thing written down there. Gosh, it's so hard to see on the viewfinder. I don't have any lights anymore. Like I've already packed everything and it's already gone. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna use some washi today. This is like from Scotch. It was actually from Target last year during like Halloween time. I think I got it on sale actually because I don't really buy a lot of seasonal things. I mean, unless they're on sale, so yeah. So that's exciting. But okay, yeah, so getting back to the story. Yes, I was laid off. So I am now filing for unemployment. So I've got that underway. However, I haven't been paid anything yet because they did pay me um, a month severance pay. So I'm not sure how that fits into unemployment. However, I'm still, um, you know, like abiding by all the rules of unemployment, still looking, obviously I'm looking for employment, well duh. Um, but yeah, so I really don't know, like, my legit October budget, I have no idea what incoming money I have at all. I do know what incoming money is gonna be coming in from my part-time job, but I have no idea what's coming in from unemployment. So yeah, um, I still can work my part-time job. I just can't work over a certain amount of hours, um, but that's okay because my office that I worked at, well not office, but it's a retail location in Fargo. By the time you're seeing this, I will probably be moving in the next day or two, but I am transferring to the St. Cloud area in Minnesota. Um, it's not technically Minneapolis-St. Paul, but it's closer to where I'm gonna be living for a little while. And they only have part-time availability for me anyways. So it's fine, um, it's all good. So um, at the top, as usual, I'm gonna put in what I know is coming in and then I'm gonna write out like my list of bills. So I'm just gonna write part-time and I get paid twice in the month of October from the part-time job. And I think they're gonna be about the same. Um, I think they're gonna be both at around like the $200 mark. I don't really know, but you know, it depends on what shifts they give me. Sometimes they'll give me like a four hour shift. Other times they'll give me like an eight or a nine hour shift. So I don't really know. And that's all I know that's coming in for the month. However, things are taken care of. So that's good. Um, I have been following the Dave Ramsey plan for a while. I'll leave the link to his YouTube channel below if you guys want to watch him. I have already completed baby step three, which baby step three is a fully funded three to six month emergency plan, as well as I already started on baby step three B, which is saving for a house. So I am not too incredibly worried about money. I mean, yes, it would be nice to have more come in. I totally get it. However, I have enough money to live if unemployment doesn't come in for a little while or it takes me a while to find a job. Like I don't like, I just don't have that anxiety about money because I've been preparing to actually purchase a home. Thank God I didn't purchase a house in this town but anyway I'm still in Fargo as I'm filming this because honestly this is not where I want to be in life I don't want to be in Fargo I moved here for work work ended I'm leaving so um, that's a good segue into where I'm gonna be living so my parents actually have a summer home in Minnesota and that is where I'm going to be staying all the expenses are paid minus a couple utilities which I'm gonna take care of so I'm gonna put those in at least what I know of right now and then, um, you know, I can pay it as I go on. So let's put in some of the fixed expenses that I know about and then we'll just keep, you know, going on. Okay, so I'm actually leaving my apartment that I'm currently sitting in right now 
and my lease is up on October 31. However, I've already prepaid for all of October and everything, so I don't have to worry about that in October. So I do have to pay my health insurance. Um, it's like the Cobra insurance, and that is 311.15. I've actually already paid for the month of October because it's due on the 1st, but this will be like for November, if that makes sense for you guys. And actually, let me zoom you in a little bit closer. I feel like it's so far away sometimes when I'm like writing out this stuff. So anyway, you get a really uh, good view of my nasty, nasty cuticles because that's what happens when you move, guys. That's what happens. Okay, so health insurance is a given. My cell phone is the same each month, $62.55. My insurance. Actually, I need to change over my insurance since I am actually um, leaving uh, the state. So I actually have an insurance friend in the state of Minnesota that wasn't licensed in the state of North Dakota, so he couldn't, you know, help me with my services in North Dakota. But since I'm moving, I'm going to go um, see him, and then obviously I need to get different insurance because I'm insured in this, you know, in North Dakota and not Minnesota. So my insurance amount will probably change. Um, I just don't know. So I just need to actually look up and see how much my insurance is like an auto pay. So I don't ever remember how much it is. It's like a hundred something every single month. And sorry, I'm like kind of ill prepared. A little bit ill prepared today. Let's see, here we go. Reoccurring bill pay. All right, 109.68. All right, and then my Netflix. I think Netflix finally went up to 9.99 a month, which is fine. Um, it used to be 7.99 for all the streaming, but I think it's 9.99 now. Yep, 9.99, okay. It just changed. Um, I'm not too worried about the $2, guys, seriously but I know everyone was kind of up in arms about it, but I think it's gonna be okay. And then also um, I'm disconnecting everything here when I leave, but I still will have to pay a residual electric bill. I'm not sure how much that's gonna be. I'll fill that in in just a minute. And then also um, for October, I won't have to pay a cable bill here, or not cable, but like a Wi-Fi bill here in Fargo, but I am taking over, or not taking over, I'm like, starting a new Wi-Fi service at my parents place because apparently they had like a hotspot and it just isn't working especially for like video uploads and Netflix streaming and stuff it just doesn't work out um there's a $50 installation charge and then I think it's going to be around the $100 mark the first month and then after that it should only be like 50 something with tax and fees and stuff but anyway, that's just like a one-time fee. So um, I'm gonna budget for around $100, which is just fine. And then the electric, I'm pretty sure is gonna be around the $50 mark. I can't imagine that it's gonna be any more than that. So I'm not gonna be putting my MasterCard on here. Um, what I do with my credit card is I actually pay it off every single month, like in full. And I usually just use it for like fuel for my vehicle, sometimes groceries, but just to put something on it. This month that we're currently in, I was really conscious not to put anything on the credit card at all because I knew that I had obviously been laid off from my job, so I just didn't want another bill coming in. So that is not gonna be on this budget because obviously then you pay for it in the next month. Other expenses I have coming up in October, I'm actually going on vacation, oddly enough. Um, I've already paid for a flight, so I'm still gonna go, and it's actually to go to a family wedding in Florida, so I'll be staying with my parents, and because that's where they normally live, so I was planning on doing that anyways, so really the out-of-pocket expenses is gonna be pretty much nothing. I mean, I might use some of my going out to eat food budget or something like that, but honestly, I don't need anything, and I'm only there from like a Wednesday to Sunday, and really, I'm just gonna be hanging out with family and friends. So I'm not too incredibly worried about that. So under all of these fixed expenses, not fixed expenses, but pretty fixed expenses, I'm gonna put like my cash for what I usually do. Um, I'm not gonna put anything in the clothing budget or anything like that. So this month, we're just gonna do food. And then usually what I end up doing is groceries. So like grocery food and then like eat out food. And I'll actually probably use some eating out food budget because I have friends that live in the area that I'm gonna be at, so that's exciting. Okay, so my grocery budget for the month, 
I always like to do around $200. I feel like that's good for me, especially, um, you know, I usually go to the grocery store every week, but a lot of times I'll do like one big trip and then um, every week I'll go, but I'll get like bananas and fruit and veggies, like the fresh stuff and sometimes bread, but I'm not really a big like bread eater. So I feel like $200 is just fine for me. I feel like some people always comment like $200, wow, I can never make it work, but think about it, it's just me, you guys. Like if you were to be a single person that didn't have any dependents, that wasn't married or didn't have multiple people in your household, you could probably work off of $200. Um, and then my eating out budget is gonna be about $100. I'm giving myself a little bit of extra leeway there just because I am going on vacation too. So. That's really my only like cash that I need for the month. And I can tell you, I have so much cash right now because I have been selling stuff. So I won't actually like need to go and get this cash at all. So, and I'm actually trying to see if I can pay some of these other bills in cash <laughs> because it's ridiculous. Like I sold my sectional, I sold um, a bunch of other furniture and just regular like home accessories and mirrors and wall hangings. And just like, I've been selling so much stuff and cash is a fantastic thing. I completely agree with that statement, but oh my gosh, it's getting ridiculous, y'all. But it's okay, but because I'm still budgeting with that cash, so I'm not too worried about it. Plus, I also have my emergency fund and things like that too. So let's get this all totaled up and let's see what we got. For the totals here, so just to cost me to live is going to be $643.37. Um, minus the food. Oh, you know what I should also put is um, uh, gas for my vehicle. I usually budget around, well, actually, no, October, I won't be doing any extra traveling. So I should um, budget around the $100 mark. I am going to be in a larger city, so things are farther away. So yeah, that should probably actually go up here, but that's okay. We'll We'll get it figured out. So really, and then this is around like the $400 mark down here. Sorry, my phone's freaking out. Okay, so my total is this, okay, minus the $400 that I'm possibly expecting from my second job. So really I need to come up with the six hundred and forty three dollars and thirty seven cents which is living pretty minimally if you ask me at my parents place that i'm going to be staying at for a little while i don't have to pay rent which is nice but i will probably be taking over some of the utilities and stuff like that too um pretty minimal expenses especially once unemployment kicks in if i haven't found a job by that point so yeah but i am still looking and still trucking on so i think that is going to be it for the october budget i hope you guys enjoyed i know that this is kind of a weird budget because everything got so screwed up from last month i will be leaving a financial playlist in the bottom bar below if you guys are interested in any of my other like finance talk things and if you guys have any like tips or tricks on how to budget a little bit more conservatively when you are going through a layoff or a job loss, put them in the comments below. I would be really interested to see um, feedback of what you guys either have done for yourself when that's happened or like just ideas that you might have if that were to happen to you. So I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I'm going to let you guys go for now, but I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys.